2017 Ford Explorer Platinum Achieving Platinum Status Highs and Lows Highs Quick for a pachyderm, top-notch materials, handsome appearance Lows Iffy build quality, cramped driver's foot well, drives big Introduced last year as part of a heavy refresh, the Ford Explorer's top of the line $54,180 Platinum trim is a push-button gear selector and a few pieces of bodywork away from passing for a Lincoln. Although exterior differences between the Platinum and lesser Explorers are few consisting of details such as an egg crate grille, chrome mirror caps, and 15 spoke wheels the flagship Explorer's passenger compartment separates itself from the herd with highbrow fittings such as a 10-inch digital gauge cluster, quilted leather seats a leather-wrapped dashboard, and real wood and aluminum accents on the dash, doors, and steering wheel. Hustle hard. A linebacker with the speed of a running back, the 4980-pound Platinum is both the heftiest and quickest explorer to go through our testing regimen since the model adopted unibody construction for the current generation that debuted for 2011. Credit the Platinum's twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost engine that it shares with the more aggressively styled Explorer Sport. Packing 365 horsepower and 350 lb-ft of torque, the engine delivers smooth and linear muscle through a six-speed automatic transmission that includes a pair of steering wheel-mounted paddle shifters. All-wheel drive is standard. Unlike the Sport, which can be optioned with a set of 20-inch Continental Summer Tires for $995, the luxury-themed Platinum's 20-inch wheels are wrapped in all-season Hankook tires. In spite of a 41-pound weight disadvantage, though, our Platinum test car managed to better or equal the acceleration times we recorded in a 2016 Sport fitted with the summer rubber. The 0-60 to 60 mph run takes a brisk 5.8 seconds, the century mark is reached in 15.2 seconds, and the quarter mile is crossed after 14.4 seconds at 98 miles per hour, besting the sport by 0.2 second, 0.6 second, and 0.2 second and 2 miles per hour. The only acceleration test in which the Platinum wasn't quicker was from 50 to 70 miles per hour, both twin turbo explorers did it in 4.4 seconds. Similarly, the Platinum matched the sport in clawing its way around our 300-foot skid pad at a respectable 83 centimos. The sport's summer tires proved advantageous only in our braking test stopping this Platinum from 70 miles per hour required 174 feet, 8 feet longer than the sport on its stickier Continentals. Cabin Fever While the Platinum's interior is filled with premium materials, build quality is less than stellar. Our test car's door panels were misaligned with the dashboard, the leather of which showed signs of wear at the seams before the odometer reached 2,500 miles. On the plus side, the addition of SYNC 3 to 2017 Explorers is a boon to ergonomics. Menus within the central touch screen are logically arranged, and touch inputs never needed a second or third tap of the screen to confirm a request. The Platinum also comes standard with features such as a dual-panel sunroof, adaptive cruise control, a blind spot warning system, lane-keeping assist, a front-mounted camera, and an automatic parking system that can steer the Explorer into an open spot. Despite providing more legroom in all three rows than the 2.9-inch longer Dodge Durango, as well as an additional 4 cubic feet of cargo space behind its rearmost row, the Explorer's interior can feel cramped. Exceptionally wide side sills make entering the cabin somewhat awkward. Once inside, the Explorer's broad dashboard and a seating position that's slightly offset toward the center make this mid-size crossover feel especially big and ungainly to navigate. Adding salt to the Explorer's packaging wound is a front wheel well that invades the space for the driver's left foot more than in most modern vehicles, rendering the small dead pedal all but useless to those with big feet or even average size feet clad in boots. While our test car's optional, $695, second row bucket seats were comfortable, they lacked integrated arm rests, resulting in arms hanging listlessly when they, $150, 
second row center console was open and in use. Choosing the buckets also deletes one seating position, reducing our test car's capacity from 7 to 6 passengers. Meanwhile, the Explorer's cushy, power-folding third-row seats offer a meager 40.7 inches of hip room, 3.9 inches less than the Honda Pilots despite the vehicle's virtually identical overall widths. Every man brand. With a base price north of $50,000, the Explorer Platinum blurs the line between premium midsize crossover subs and mainstream models. Compared with an Acura MDX or an Infiniti QX60 with equipment levels similar to that of our $55,025 Blue Jeans Metallic test car, the Platinum costs $2,315 less than the MDX and $2,870 less than the QX60. Both the Acura and the Infiniti provide somewhat more prestigious brand names, however, Neither vehicle's V6 engine produces anywhere near the power of the Ford's twin-turbocharged beast. Those seeking power might also want to look at the Dodge Durango equipped with the 360 HP 5.7-liter V8 engine. Even heavier than the Explorer Platinum, a 2016 Durango R-T registered 5,369 pounds on our scales, the 8-cylinder Durango is objectively less capable than the Platinum, with lazier acceleration figures, a longer braking distance, and less lateral grip. Nevertheless, the 8-pot Dodge is more fun to pilot and is rated to tow up to 7,400 pounds when properly equipped, 2,400 more than the Explorer Platinum. The Dodge's fuel economy rating of 14 mpg city and 22 mpg highway falls behind the Platinum 16 20 seconds rating, we averaged 17 mpg during our time with the Ford and recorded 20 mpg on our 200 mile, 75 mph highway fuel economy test. Based on that 20 mpg figure, the Explorer can travel roughly 370 miles on a tank, which is far less than many of its peers. Regardless of which vehicles you most consider to be its competition, the 2017 Ford Explorer Platinum's high-end materials, array of features, and strong engine allow it to stack up fairly well. Even so, consumers may be better off opting for the $7,880 less expensive, but equally powerful, Explorer Sport. Based on our testing data, though, we can't recommend the optional summer tires on that Explorer.